Jesus said, Just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. In this famous verse, Jesus is referencing an incident recorded in the 21st chapter of the book of Numbers, in which the recalcitrant Israelites find themselves under siege by a band of venomous serpents. They pray to the Lord and complain to Moses. Moses then prays and gets the word that what he is to do is make a serpent out of bronze, fasten it to a pole, and every time one of the Israelites is bitten by a poisonous serpent, that person can look to the serpent on the pole and live. Now the immediate question that comes to mind is why not simply do it the simpler way? Why not simply get rid of the serpents altogether and keep the Israelites safe? And likewise, when it comes to Jesus, and he says we must look upon the Son of Man as he's being lifted up, why make it so difficult? Jesus is saying that looking at him as he is lifted up will save us from our sins and from the sins of the world. Why not simply eradicate all that and make us perfectly free and happy and self-sufficient? It's because that latter path wouldn't actually lead us to as great a satisfaction as the more challenging and complicated path does. God is not interested in making us entirely free and self-sufficient in the sense that we no longer have any sort of dependency upon God. In fact, God is interested in cultivating a radical dependency upon himself for all us, his creatures and people. Because God knows that living that way is the path to true joy, true happiness, true satisfaction, true freedom. So folks, the message of this fourth week of Lent is this. It is good to seek maturity and self-sufficiency in terms of all the things and people of the world. But when it comes to God, we are to do quite the opposite. We are to cultivate radical dependency and prayerful obedience every second of every day and discover that in that state, we find complete self-sufficiency and freedom from all else that might shackle us.